What are the states and why do we need to assemble them? April 1, 2019 by Anna Von writes. Many centuries ago, people recognized that there is a difference between the biologically active layer of the earth that we call soil and the relatively inert subsoil which they called land. This convention, making a distinction between the land and soil, and considering them separate jurisdictions under the law, was inherited from British land law. Thus, in America, we have Republican states, like the Wisconsin Republic and the California Republic and the Florida Republic, that occupy the soil jurisdiction, the top six inches of the land. This is considered the national jurisdiction because this is where the living people live and breathe and spend their lives. The living population is referred to as people with a small p. All living people are unincorporated and sovereign by nature. Thus, the people come together to decide local issues related to their soil jurisdiction within the borders of their Republican state, aka, the main republic. The land jurisdiction underlying the soil is part of the international jurisdiction owed to the people. When they act to conduct international jurisdiction business, they are acting in the capacity of lawful persons known as people, with a capital P. These international land jurisdiction states all operate under simple proper names like this, Massachusetts, Illinois, Iowa. These states all have geographically defined borders and all take reference to actual, factual, physical land holdings. They all belong as property assets to the people who populate the Republican states, thus, the Florida Republic, which belongs to the people, also possesses Florida, which is operated by the people. Both the living people soil, and the lawful persons land, are the same, just acting in two different capacities in the same way that you can act as a father or as a school teacher. By now you have noticed that we, the people, refers to the lawful persons operating the states like Florida and Maine and Ohio, the international land jurisdiction states of the Union. These states operated by the lawful persons, the people, are the parties to the constitutions, and as a result, these are the states and people that can enforce the provisions of the constitutions. Nobody else on our side of the issues can enforce the constitutions. And we haven't assembled the states in 150 years. So our hired help has been running wild and unsupervised for all this time. We haven't been acting in our correct capacity, we haven't been assembling our states and conducting business, so they have simply ignored us and presumed that we are either British territorial citizens or municipal United States citizens temporarily residing here as US citizens in the same way that they are. It is therefore necessary and indeed, it has become urgent that we wake up and correct the falsified records misidentifying us as US citizens and adopt our proper political status and act in our capacity as lawful persons, the people, and assemble our states of the union. This has not been done since 1860. We have never seen our actual government in action. We have never acted in the capacity of we, the people, and could not act in that capacity until now, because we have all been misidentified as US citizens by our run amok employees, without our understanding, knowledge, or consent. As a result of this unconscionable contract, a purported contract that we ever knew anything about, to act as US citizens, and therefore not as Americans known as Texans, Californians, and so on, we have been precluded from acting as lawful persons and prevented from claiming and exercising our birthrights and of course, could not act as we, the people, either. Until now. You can now understand why it is amazing to the managers of the commercial corporations that have run wild on our shores as governmental service providers, that we have awakened after a 150 years and are taking this action, even though such action is constitutionally guaranteed. It is also confusing for many of those who are just waking up and who have been indoctrinated to think of themselves as US citizens, that is, employees of foreign corporations temporarily residing here while providing governmental services to our states. We have to overcome both the talking horse response from our erstwhile and wayward federal and state of state employees, and the confusion of Americans who have been misled to think of and call themselves US citizens all their lives. At the same time, we have to educate ourselves about our actual American government and dust off the cobwebs and records so that we familiarize ourselves with the long vacant offices and traditions of our own government of the people, by the people, and for the people. For example, in our system of government, the state assembly chairman tells the land jurisdiction governor what to do, and our land jurisdiction governor acts as our check and balance against usurpation by our federal employees. This is not an easy task in any respect.
It is a daunting responsibility to self-govern that brings with it ultimate and unalienable rights and prerogatives. Each one of us has to take action to reclaim our birthright political status and each one has to make a decision whether we wish to live as state nationals or state citizens. American state nationals owe no obligation or duty to serve the government, the government owes them all duty and obligation. Other than keeping the peace and not damaging people or property, American state nationals are truly free and in possession of all their natural and unalienable rights. American state citizens are those among us who accept the burden of serving their state government as electors, our version of voters, jurors, elected officials, and hired officers. It is to be hoped in the present circumstance that a majority of those reading this will step forward and serve their state, which is being assembled for the first time in a 150 years and is in great need of their service. We need to repopulate our states of the union, which requires filling our jury pools, filling our vacant public offices, holding elections, and doing all the other work of our lawful state governments. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more of my article videos.